Do we think that we can just get away with everything? People think that sin is free, we can just get on, do whatever we want, sexual immorality, we can do what we like. But friends, the Bible says, the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death, friends. Nothing is free, is it? We can't go into Burger King, Burger King and, and just walk out with a burger, can we? And not pay for it? We can't do that, can we? We're gonna get, we're gonna get arrested, aren't we? Friends, nothing is free, no, It says, value your mornings, three pounds 49. You've got to pay that if you want your morning burger. £3.49, you've got to pay for it, but you can't just go into Barclays and, and, and walk out with all the money, can you? Well, you could try. You'll probably get arrested very quickly because, friends, nothing is free, is it? Nothing is free in this life. Neither is sin. Why do we think sin is free? That we can just get away with it. We can just do what we want. We can just have sex with or whatever we want, whoever we want, whenever we want. We could dress however we want, even though the Bible is very clear about dressing. Did you know that? The Bible says you can't dress like a man, a woman can't dress like a man, and a man can't dress like a woman. Did you know it says that in the Bible? It says it in the Bible. Friends, pride comes before a fall. Did you know that? And the whole world is going to fall, friends, because it is, it's, it is marching in pride. Friends, come on. Let's have a humble march. We had a humble march the other day. We had a humble march. We walked through the streets humbly before God, seeking seeking after God, friends. It's time for us to come to Jesus. It's time for us to come to Jesus and not think that our sin doesn't matter, that we can just do whatever we want. We can't do whatever we want, friends. We can't look at pornography and think that, that we don't have to pay for it later. You have to pay for it, friends. We've got to pay for it. We've got to pay for evil thoughts, evil desires and evil actions. We've got to pay for sexual immorality. We've got to pay because the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. The gift of God is eternal life. I know it seems funny now, friends. Things seem, seems funny now, but one day, friends, we're going to stand before God. It's all going to be over. It's all going to be over, friends. We're going to be in a box. Come on, friends. It's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to wake up, friends. One day we're going to breathe our last. Some people, they, they die young, don't they? Tragically, those, those little children, what were they, seven years old? Stabbed to death. It's evil, isn't it? It's evil, some evil person. Filled with the devil. Filled with the devil came and stabbed and took away those lives. Because we're living in an evil world, aren't we? But I'll tell you what, let's just entertain ourselves. Let's just turn on the television. Let's just watch a bit of EastEnders. Because that will, that will make us happy, won't it? A bit of EastEnders. A bit of anger, a bit of resentment, a bit of adultery. Thrown in for good measure. Tell you what, let's just watch evil. Let's, let's maybe, maybe go watch a horror movie or something. Why do you think the world is in such a mess, friends? Because they're watching the mainstream media and all that rubbish. They're watching the mainstream media, watching all this rubbish on the television, watching sin. What do you think that's going to do, friends? As we watch people do sin, well, we're going to sin ourselves, aren't we? Garbage in, garbage out. Come on, friends, it's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to turn off the television, turn off the social media, and turn on God. Turn on God. How do we turn on God? We've got, to, we've got to call out to him with a whole heart. Come on, friends, let's call out to Jesus while he may be found. Let's call out to Jesus while he may be found. He is the only answer for this life. Jesus is the only answer for this life. He's calling out to us in this hour. He's calling out to these young ladies. The Lord is calling out. He's calling out. He's saying, come unto me, all who are weary. All who are weary and heavy burdened. And I will give you rest. God loves you. God loves you. Jesus is here and he loves us with an everlasting love. And he cares for us. He cares for us. He calls out to us in this hour. Did you know that God loves you? God loves you? Yes, God loves us with an everlasting love. He loves that guy there with the green hair. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. God is here for us. God is here for us. And he calls out to us in this hour. Did you know that God loves you with an everlasting love? God loves you. Did you know God loves you? God loves you? Yes, God loves you. He cares for us. Yes. Jesus is here. And he says, come unto me, all who are weary. All who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. I will give you rest for your souls. I will give you rest for your souls. He loves this young lady here looking at our phone. God loves you, yes. God cares for us. He loves this lady with the Primark bag. Did you know God loves you? God loves you, yes. God loves us and he cares for us. He cares for us. He loves that lady there with the blonde hair. God loves you and he cares for you. He cares for us. He loves you, sir. Did you know God loves you? Yes, amen. Yeah, God loves you. Yes, God is here for us. God is here for us and he calls out to us in this hour and he says, come to me if you're weary. Who's weary? Who's weary in this life? Come on, friends, I pray for you. I pray for you. I prayed for a man the other day, and the power of God came upon him, and he said, I feel all this joy. I feel all this joy inside. And I said, that's the power of God. Come on, friends, if you want joy, 
come, come here and I pray. I pray for you, friends, and the power of God will come and it will hit your soul. You won't know what's hit you, friends. And I'll tell you. Because you won't know what's hit you, but I'll tell you, it'll be God. It'll be God. God wants to come with his power today. And he wants to deliver us from every evil. He wants to deliver us from every evil. Jesus is here to deliver us from every evil. He's here to give us life. He's here to give us life. Jesus is here to give us life today. Come on, friends. Come on, friends. This is all about relationship. It's not about religion. All that stuffy old religion. Praying all those times a day, thinking we're going we're gonna to impress God. Do you think it impresses God? I think it impresses God, friends. We sin and then we go and pray. Do you think that impresses God? No, no, friends, it doesn't impress God. Dressing up, dressing up. Do you think that, that impresses God, dressing up? No, friends, God doesn't care about what we wear. God doesn't care about how many times a day we pray. No, friends, God wants our heart. God wants a relationship with us. Come on, friends, it's time for us to turn back to God. It's time for us to turn back to Jesus. Jesus is here and he loves us with an everlasting love. He cares for us. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus is here and he loves us. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus is here. So many people in this life, friends, need to turn to Jesus, the Son of God. The Son of God, the Messiah, who came into the world. The Son of God, the Messiah, who came into the world. The Son of Mary. That's right, Son of Mary, as they claim up there, which he was. But he was more than that. He was more than that. He was the Son of God. He was the Son of God who came into the world. Jesus loves us. He loves this. He loves these precious children here. Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us. We used to sing in Sunday school, Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Did you know the Bible tells us that Jesus loves us? For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. God loves you, sir. God loves you. God loves you and your family. Jesus is here and he cares for us. God loves you, madam. God loves you with the spotty umbrella. God loves you. Jesus is here. Jesus is here and he loves this lady over here with the lovely dress. Jesus is here. God is here for us. God is here for us. He calls out to us in this hour. He loves these young ladies here. Jesus is here. And he calls out to us. Did you know that God loves us? Come on, friends. It's time for us to come back to God. It's time for us to come back to Jesus. God loves you, sir. God loves you. Jesus is here. And he calls out to us. Come on, friends. Let's have some joy. Let's have some joy in the city. We've seen a lot of horrible stuff on the telly recently, haven't we? Why don't we have some joy in the city? Come on. Let's have some joy. Let's have some happiness, shall we? Come on. Jesus said, I have, I, when you've got my joy, your joy will be complete. Come on, friends. It's time to have some joy. I'll tell you what, Sky News and BBC, they wouldn't want to They wouldn't want to display any of that, would they? Do you imagine it. They don't want to display any good news. They just want to display bad news, all the, all the evil that's happening. And then they want to scare people and terrify people, like they did yesterday, didn't they? So there was going to be a hundred riots last night. And not one of them actually materialised. See, the mainstream media, they lie. They lie. The mainstream media are liars. Friends, it's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to wake up, friends, and, and, and open up the Bible. Jesus said, the reason I came was to testify to the truth, and all those who are on the side of truth, listen to my voice. Are you listening to the voice of Jesus today? Are you listening to the voice of Jesus today? Come on, friends, it's time for us to wake up. He loves us with an everlasting love, and he cares for us. He cares for us and he calls out to us in this hour and he says, come to me if you're weary. Are you wearied by this life? Are you wondering what on earth is going on in the world? Friends, I tell you, if we turn to Jesus, we're not going to wonder anymore because it's all in the Bible. It's all prophesied in the Bible, all the trouble that's coming, everything that's coming, friends. Third World War, the, the earth will be destroyed by fire. The Bible says it. The earth will be destroyed by fire. This is what the Bible says. And friends, our politicians, they've amassed enough nuclear weapons to fulfill the prophecy, haven't they? So it's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to wake up, because time is running out. Time is running out. Do you think it's always going to be like this? No friends, great chaos is coming upon our nation.